let's see, any jersey is a long process. It actually takes two years to bring a jersey to market. Um, and I love jerseys. It's the most exciting part. I have 384 jerseys that are unsigned. Then I have a, what's called a corridor of champions where I have all these signed jerseys. And thankfully, my wife agreed to that. And I have a downstairs cupboard and plastic boxes with all. But I obsess. Like, you know, I can tell you, for me, jerseys are a timeline. I can tell you where I was when I bought my first Jamaica jersey. I can tell you in 1998, walking in France and seeing the Brazil jersey with Ronaldo 9 on the back, and that was the first time name in numbers. I can tell you in 1993, when I bought the Ian Wright number 8 Arsenal jersey, it was the first time in a cup final, the name and numbers on it. So these details, the evolution of jerseys, it's a bit of, um, you know, I, I genuinely love them. Like, I, like it's, it's a... A childish dream but it's a, also an adult dream you know to be able to be here so when we started this process and, and, and I just want to be clear I'm not the vision of this I'm a guide to David and Jorge and Jose's vision for what they want for the jersey so this year when it came to this jersey it was like they wanted something really striking that the fans loved and represented Miami as a city so you know when we looked at that we looked at our fan groups and there's the you know we got we divided them into three fan groups so we're like okay so what's the platform we're going to base this on so it's your football your club your city so those are the three things and what does your football do it evokes energy right it's about the energy it's your football here it's everything we've waited for and then your club there's a sense of being proud you know if you're a young kid looking to play you're proud to have a club to play for we're proud to have this club in our city and then, um, you know, your city, Miami, is just pure excitement, right? So those are the building blocks for the jersey of what we did. So when we go into that, it's like, okay, what we do is we create a brief and we've created these elements that come to life through it. So when we're thinking of like La Familia and the energy and your football, what we did is we've embossed this wave pattern on here. And I read on ESPN when they said it was to evoke the water, but it's actually to evoke the energy of the wave when they throw the streamers. And if you look at a picture of a streamer, against this, you see how it's brought in. And then when we go into your city, right, and your club, first your club we'll talk about, that's something where we really wanted to bring in kind of being proud of the city, proud of your club. And if you think about the moments of our club, we can be super proud of it. So we're getting get into the playoffs. And I don't even remember Rosso Negra Knights when we make the buildings pink. So we bring in the pink trim to represent the Rosso Negra Knights. And then for the city, we've used this, the M, as another O to our city, along with the, the skyline here. And then for, you know, to get that sense of excitement, what we've done is we've changed the pink. We've gone for this bliss pink to just kind of bring to life that vibrant nature of Miami into the jersey. And then on the back, which, you know, I know everyone knows is a consistent, you've seen it on all of our jerseys, Freedom to Dream, the pink out, Libra Cap, Palasonia. That's the soul of the club. That's a testament to ownership and the fans' commitment to make this club a reality. And, uh, you know, this is La Noche, and that's basically all of Miami, the excitement, energy, and proud of the city of night all baked into a jersey. So that's the story. Um, I don't know if there's questions.